guys, it's Bags and President Ross. According to RealClearPolling.com, we have a new updated election map. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. RealClearPolling.com still has Donald J. Trump at 48.5% in the battlegrounds and Kamala Harris at 48.2%. Let us fill in this beautiful map. Huh. Washington State with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Hawaii with 4 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Montana with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah with 6 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada, according to RealClearPolling.com, Harris has a 1.1 lead in Nevada, giving her their 6 electoral votes. Arizona, according to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 1.4 lead in Arizona, giving him their 11 electoral votes. Alaska, with their 3 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Colorado, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico, with 5 electoral votes, is light blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota, with 3 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska with electoral votes, red for Donald J. Trump. The first district of Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. The second district of Nebraska is blue for Kamala Harris. But Nebraska at large is two electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is light red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Wisconsin, according to RealClearPolling.com, has Harris in a 0.5 lead giving her their sacred 10 electoral votes. Michigan is the biggest change this electoral season besides Pennsylvania of recent past because Trump now has a 0.5 lead over Kamala Harris, nabbing him Michigan's 15 electoral votes. It is red for Donald J. Trump. Iowa, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri with 10 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana, with 8 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois, with 19 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Indiana, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio, with 17 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. Kentucky, with eight electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. West Virginia, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama, with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida, with 30 electoral votes, is light red for Donald J. Trump. Georgia, according to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a one-point lead over Kamala Harris. His lead has slightly dropped from past, but it is still red for Donald J. Trump. South Carolina, with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, according to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 0.5 lead in North Carolina, giving him the sacred 16 electoral votes. North Carolina is red for Donald J. Trump. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is light blue for Kamala Harris. Pennsylvania, according to RealClearPolling.com, Trump still has a 0.2 lead in Pennsylvania, giving him the electoral votes 
needed to secure this election, undoubtedly, Pennsylvania is red for Donald J. Trump. Of course, he had over 270 before Pennsylvania, but he can lose a state and get Pennsylvania and still win is what I meant by that for clarification purposes. Maine itself is red for Donald J. Trump. Maine at large, AL2 at the top, is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district of Maine is blue for Kamala Harris. And the rest of them, New York, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and the like are all blue for Kamala Harris. That puts Kamala Harris at 240 electoral votes and Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance at 298, giving him the win in a landslide. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out. Keep mispronouncing Nebraska. <laughs>